If an expert does not have some problem to vex him, he is unhappy. If a philosopher's teaching is never attacked, he pines away. If critics have no one on whom to exercise their spite, they are unhappy. All such men are prisoners in the world of objects. He who wants followers seeks political power. He who wants reputation holds an office. A strong man looks for weights to lift. The brave man looks for an emergency in which he can show bravery. The swordsman wants a battle in which he can swing his sword. Men past their prime prefer a dignified retirement in which they may seem profound. Men experienced in law seek difficult cases to extend their applications of laws. Liturgists and musicians like festivals in which they can display their ceremonial talents. The benevolent, the dutiful, are always looking for chances to display virtue. Where will a gardener be if there were no more weeds? What will become of business without a market of fools? Where would the masses be if there were no pretexts for getting jammed together and making noise? What would become of labor if there were no superfluous objects to be made? Produce! Get results! Make money! Make changes! Or you will die of despair. Those who are caught in the machinery of power take no joy except in activity and change. The whirling of the machine. Whenever an occasion for action presents itself, they are compelled to act. They cannot help themselves. They are inexorably moved, like the machine on which they are a part. Prisoners in the world of objects. They have no choice but to submit to the demands of matter. They are pressed down and crushed by external forces. Fashion, the market, events public opinion. Never in a whole lifetime do they recover their right minds. The active life. What a pity.